Hi everyone, I'm back and we are going to start layering our card pieces. And I did want to, before I set the clock, I did want to talk about how we angle these. I didn't do that last time. And apparently I didn't measure right either. <laughs> but here's what I did and I don't know if uh, Alicia does it this way or not. But let me make sure this is right here. Okay. All right. Um, I took a ruler. And this is two and a quarter. Yeah, see, I did that one wrong. So that's only two inches. So I'm going to uh, make a hash mark. See, so this is two. So I'm going to make a hash mark at one. Normally I would make it a little bit further over, but okay. And then I'm going to do that to all of them, provided they're the right size, which this one was too little for some reason, so let me start over. Okay, so these are all pretty close. Um, so we're going to take one, because this is just one-sided paper, it makes it easier for me. Um, so we got two and a quarter, so I went ahead and decided the halfway point was a little bit over on one. So you make, you make kind of a little hash mark here. Make sure you can all see that. Okay. Now you put, I wouldn't put all of them, I'd put maybe three at a time. Or so in the trimmer. Okay, I want to make sure everybody gets sees this really well here. Okay. Okay, so you start where the bottom of that hash mark is at the bottom of the paper, and then you cut. And then you do the same same thing on the other side. At the very bottom of the paper. And I can't guarantee that this is going to be equal. Okay, so we cut there. And voila. That's pretty darn close. Okay, so we just do that to finish out those. Me go ahead and how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My first one was a mess. Nine. Ten. I'm supposed to have twelve. What happened to the other ones? Okay. Okay, well, let's go ahead and cut a couple more then. I thought I had 12. Two and a quarter. Let's see. Okay, so two and a quarter. Sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead and do those three. And then we'll be done with that. Good. All right. So we're done with the trimmer, I think. No, maybe not. Or we'll just do that with our scissors. All right. So there's all these. And I also wanted to tell you that... Um, the four and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter pieces that we're going to layer on top of the cardstock. I just have such a hard time with my measurements. They ended up to be just a little big. 
And so I went ahead and, and off camera, I went ahead and used my um, corner rounder, my three-way my Stampin' Up um, punch. And I just rounded the corners to make it, to just make it look a little better. So, okay. So, we are going to, let's go ahead and mat these first. Mat and cut these. Put, okay, I've got two adhesives here. All right. Well, three. Okay. Okay. Let's start the clock. We haven't, we're not going to cut these yet until after these are matted. And we're just going to, I think I'm going to trim. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll just trim by hand. Because this, this took me a bit to figure out, I must admit. So we want to put it up to the top. Right in the middle. Okay, and we're just going to let that go to dry this is glue that I got from crazy paper chick Alicia uh, one of her D stashes right in the middle there okay Because if you see here, it does go up to the, oops, sorry. It does go up to the very top on here. So that's what I'm doing. I, I like the fact that uh, my pattern paper was only one-sided. So I could see the hash mark to cut with. Somebody else may do it different, but that's the way I figured it out. Okay. Whoops. That's not quite big enough, but... Okay, we'll, we'll work with it. Okay, forget that. <laughs> I, I don't know. This happened to me last time. I did. I just couldn't get the measurements straight for some reason. I think these will be really cute when they're done. Um, Beth from Bur Bourbon Creek Crafts said she got it from Michael's last year. I got mine on Amazon, so there may still be some if you're interested. I think it's just absolutely darling. Now, on in the 6x6 pad size, her cut aparts were smaller, of course, and so they fit very easily on a, on a card. Um, but these are bigger, so they may present a little bit more of a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and make, you know, when I make some more cards with those and see how well I can adapt those. I may have to make some 5 by 7s but that's okay.
Now just to reiterate that notching or this angling of these things, um, I think once you get it figured out and get going, you can do it quickly, but I knew just that by itself was going to take 10 minutes just figuring it out. So that's why I did it off the clock, so to speak. The preparation takes a while. Okay. Okay, there's one. I think I picked it the, the right color. Um, this is Flirty Flamingo, by the way. This solid cardstock by Stampin' Up. I have several several colors of pink, and I thought this one was the closest. Just an extra pop of color. Okay. And this this glue gives me just enough wiggle room. So I'm happy about that. an extra piece that I can use instead of that little bitty one. So yay for small miracles there. Okay, perfect. That worked out really well. So anyway, um, at one of the chapters of this Humane Society, I'm going to be going to a um, painting for a purpose. I mean, whoops, this is a little too short. Mm, okay. Anyway, with the help of a local artist, we are going to, uh, we submitted a um, digital picture of our pets. A, Ideally, a, a headshot of our pets, and a local artist is going to help us paint, do a portrait of our pets, which I've been wanting to do with my cat. She's a tortoise shell. She's absolutely gorgeous, but I was always so afraid. I thought, oh, I want to paint her like I did uh, my boyfriend's last cat, but I was so afraid because she's so, her colors are just so intricate. So anyway, here's this. So let's, I'm going to trim these down by hand. To leave a little inch border. We're going to cut it all the way down. And then eyeball all the way back up. There we go. Cut all the way down. And it actually is really pretty. It just took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> all the way down. And then all the way back up. Ah, good. Now this one, we're just going to have to fudge. It is what it is, right? Ugh. I may just cut it closer. There we go. Yeah, that's going to have to be how it goes. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> if it was perfect, it wouldn't be homemade, right? Okay. Probably all we're going to get done today. We're down to a minute. Yeah. But that's all right. This is actually the hardest part. 
but I'm a little more intricate, I should say. And there's nothing wrong with that. Down here. One more. Okay. So there's all those to go on our we put get all our other layers on we'll be ready okay oh, there we go okay so this is all we got done but um, it worked out it like I said um, there are a few a few little glitches <laughs> but here you go and uh, let me give you kind of an eyeball idea of what it's going to look like here. Oops. This one. And then I can choose the different sentiments. Like that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, very much for tuning in. And um, we will catch you next time and finish up the rest of the cards. Thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.